Hello my crafty friends. Today we're going to make a five minute fun fold card and this is the easiest fun fold you've ever seen. Trust me. Now we're going to start out with a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock for our card base. We're going to score it at three inches and this is pretty heavy so I'm going to go over it a couple of times and four and a quarter inches. Now, just like always, we're going to fold it on the four and a quarter inch score line. And then on the three inch score line, we're going to fold it back. And this is what we come up with. We're going to go ahead and close it. Now, we're going to take some glue, or you can use double-sided tape, or a tape runner, whatever you'd like, and we're going to close this part of the card right here with the adhesive. I'm going to use some glue, and technically this is called a book binding card. I've been seeing it on YouTube and I thought what a fun fold to try and it's so quick. So we're going to go ahead and get that burnished. And then here's how it looks once you do that. Now for the front of our card, I've gone ahead and cut some mats. We've got this cute little flowered paper. This is an inch by five and a quarter. We're going to put that right there. And once again, I'm using glue. Whoops. I'm going to get glue everywhere. That's okay because we're going to cover that up. I'm going to go ahead and line it up right in here. And for this side of our card, I've cut this piece at two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Look how fast this is going, guys. I think once you get everything cut, you can put this together in less than five minutes. Go ahead and get that put down. Now, I'm going to put a mat here on the front with my focal point. So what I've done, I took this scalloped rectangle and I cut this piece of white and I cut this, let me think now, think Mary, think, two inches by three and a quarter in case you don't have that scallop. Let me grab my ruler and make sure. Yep, yeah, that's two inches by three and a quarter. I've got this on some foam tape. And before I put that down, I've also cut a little banner and I stamped happy birthday on it. Let me go ahead and bring that in here so I'll get everything lined up just right. There's my little banner and that banner is a half an inch by two and a quarter. So I think I want to get that right about there. So we'll get our little scalloped mat right here. I'm going to put this on some foam tape as well. Okay, is anybody timing me? How am I doing? <laughs> I was going to set my phone to see if I could do this in five minutes and I forgot. But I'm pretty sure five minutes will do it for this card. Come on off of there. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put my happy birthday down. And I'm going to kind of center this. Now to go on my little mat right here. I went to the walk in my garden cartridge because I wanted to do some tulips. I'm just going tulip crazy right now. 
Now, you'll find the tulips and this little flower pot, as I said, in the walk in my garden cartridge. Here it is over here. The little flower pot is on page 91, and I cut it at an inch and a quarter. And then we'll flip over to page 99, and I cut the border of tulips because I wanted more than just one and I cut the tulips at an inch and three quarters on page 99 and I'm going to go ahead and just put these down with the glue there we go I'm going to do some more of these and use different flowers, just like I told you on that card I did the other day, where I did the tulips. Okay, and just for fun, somewhere over here, I've got a little bow I'm going to stick on the pot. Here it is. Just a little red and white gingham bow I've got on a glue dot. I'm going to stick that right there. Isn't that cute, guys? Now, for the inside, I've cut another red mat, and I've cut a white mat with the sentiment on it. Now, the red mat, once again, is two and three quarters by five and a quarter, and the white mat is two and a quarter by four and three quarters. And I went ahead and stamped it with that little stamp set I've been using, and several of you have asked me. That is from Stampendous. It's called Friendly Phrases, and you can get it on Amazon. I think it's just a really, really sweet little sentiment set. We're almost done, guys. Is this not a quick, fun fold? And so easy. And I think it makes just a really cute card. Okay, here we go. We are done. <laughs> here we go, guys. This is called a book binding card. And it is the fastest fun fold you will ever make. <laughs> I just love it. Love that little bow on there. It just really sets it off. Let me zoom you in and give you a closer look. There we go. We've got happy birthday. And then the sweet little sentiment inside. A birthday should be happy just perfect through and through. Especially when the day belongs to someone as special as you. And I think that's a really special little card to give to somebody. Okay, guys, I'm going to have all the dimensions for this card below this video on YouTube as well as on my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. So go ahead, get your dimensions, get everything cut out, and you can put these together in no time. And they are so cute and just a good way to use your scraps as well. It takes very little paper to do this. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for coming by today, and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.